Hey guys, it's TNT Man 93 here. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how you can uh, get a depth of field look onto your NR2003 game. There's a tool called Reshade that allows you to add kind of some extra effects while you have the game live, and it really adds just a little extra quality to your recording. So, to do so, um, I have this page open here on Stun on Racing. It, it goes through the steps, so I'm just going to guide you through it a little bit. First of all, what you need to do is download a file. Um, it's going to be a DLL file, and I'll show you where you can place that. So we're going to right-click, and we're going to save this file to... I'm going to actually do this in the demo. in the NR2003 demo. It works both ways, but we're just going to save this file right to the Papyrus NASCAR Racing 2003 season folder, in this case season demo. I'm just going to save it right there. Okay, so the next item we need to download is a program called Reshade. It's a program. I'm just going to download it here. And when we put this into um, our NASCAR game, it's going to have a user interface that allows us to change uh, different settings in the game. Okay, so we're going to run this file. Okay. So the first thing it's going to ask us to do is uh, click here to select a game. So I'm going to, usually it won't display here, but you can click browse. And then um, I'm going to go to my Papyrus NASCAR Racing 2003 Season Demo folder. I'm going to click nr2003.exe. So we're going to click open. And now we need to select direct 9. Okay. That was the first option. Now to get the uh, depth of field, we're going to download, or we're going to check these boxes here where it says cinematic depth of field right here. Okay, uh, let's see. And it's already got the standard effects, so that should be all we need. We're gonna click OK. It's going to download all these files. Okay, so here's all the different files that it's going to place um, into the demo here. I'm going to click OK, so it's going to download them and install. OK, we're just going to keep clicking OK. OK, so now it's all been installed, so we can close that. So now I'm going to bring up an R2003, the demo anyway. We're going to start this up. Okay, so when it starts up the first time, you're going to see this load at the top of the page. So it says it's now loaded successful. So we're going to press the home key st to start the tutorial. Um, we can skip it if we want, but I'm just going to run through it real quick. So basically, uh, it's going to have a preset bar. You can set a preset for certain types of effects or multiple effects at once if you'd like. I'm just going to leave it default for now. These are a list of the effects we downloaded. There were a bunch of other ones we could have downloaded, but um, this is just some of the basics here. This is quite a few basics. Um, we're gonna click continue, and then there's going to be, and there's actually a place where you can edit the different um, effects down here. Okay, so I'm gonna press home key to get rid of that for a minute. I'm just gonna bring up a race in the demo just to show you how it works. Okay. So now I'm going to press home again. And don't worry, the glitch that's happening is just because of my screen recorder. It's not the actual game. Um, so I'm going to select display depth. OK, so it's going to look like this. It's going to show blue and white, possibly for yours. But you're going to go up here where it says D3, D9. And I select this copy depth buffer. I just want that one checked just by itself. And you can see, let me click home here, it's actually detecting the 3D elements right here. So now uh, we're going to click home. I'm going to go back to this home field. I'm going to turn off the display depth, and I'm going to go to cinematic DOF. Let's just do it this way. Here we go. I think we just want the first one. Oh, beautiful. So what it's doing here, by default, it's set up to a mouse uh, control depth of field. So 
anything that's where my mouse is, that's what it's going to focus on. So it's, it's kind of a cool effect, really. There's also a bunch of adjustments you can make, so autofocus. Um, if I can turn off the mouse-driven one, then it's just going to focus on the middle. And it actually, look at this, you can actually determine, it detects the 3D geometry um, in the game, and that's what it creates the depth of field look with. Um, so that's just really cool. Okay, last part of this, if you want to get rid of reshade, you don't want it anymore, what you're going to do is delete these uh, D3, D9, and D8 files along with the reshade presets that you've created. You just delete those. Once those are gone, then your game goes back to the vanilla or to the default version. So yeah, that's how you create the depth of field effect using reshade. Hope you guys liked. Um, please drop a like, subscribe, and as always, have a very happy landing.